Okay guys, today I'm gonna to show you a quick tip on how you can size hooks for lures or jig heads or kind of whatever you're working on in Fusion 360. So where this comes in handy is if you have a design for a lure in your head and you also have like a certain hook or jig or something like that that you use or wanna use with this particular lure and you wanna make sure that it's kind of proportionally sized correctly. So let's hop into the computer and I'll show you what we need. So the first thing you need is a picture of the lure or the jig head or whatever you're sizing this to. It could be a spinner, it could be whatever, bro. Doesn't matter, you do you. With a known measurement in the picture. So I'm gonna cheat here and I'm gonna use um, a photo from the Barlow's catalog. They do a amazing job of having all of their, or most of their hooks with photos next to a ruler. So we're just gonna grab that real quick. Save images, we're just gonna throw it on the desktop, that's fine. Okay, so now in Fusion, what we wanna do is, I'm gonna put it on the right, just cause that's what I wanna do. We're gonna select Insert and Canvas. And then insert my, from my computer, and we're gonna go find that picture on my desktop. Click Open, it's gonna ask you for a face or a plane. You know, we're just gonna select the right plane here. It's gonna pop it in there, and right now I just wanna kind of get it in the right kind of layout that I want. Just, I, I kind of want to line it up to where basically I want it. We're going to need to change this in a second when you see, but get it big enough to work with and make it easy. Click on OK. Now, here is the magic part. The magic. Open up your canvas folder here, right click and click calibrate. Now we can zoom in real close here and these are in inches, so if I click this line, actually I'm gonna click the end of the line. This gets a little little goofy here, but click the end of the line there and the end of the line here. Really, any of these will work. I just like to make it easy uh, by selecting solid inches and just type in one inch. I'm in millimeters in this document. Um, I model in millimeters typically, so by just typing in one I in, or you can even use the uh, double quote things, yeah, quotes, whatever those things are, to signify an inch and click on OK. Now, that's gonna completely change your drawing size, but now what we have is a actual representation of the size of each of these hooks. As close to accurate as you can probably get. Now I can right click here again, click on Edit Canvas, and again, I can move these kind of wherever I need. Let's say we want the the two aught here. So I might put the two aught, the eye kind of right there on the origin and click OK. So from here, I'm gonna just do a sketch, uh, same plane that I have my canvas on. And I'm gonna use the fit point spline tool. I'm gonna zoom in here to my number two. And basically I like to start kind of right here. I don't do the the eyelet with the fit point spline tool. And typically the fewer points you have, the better. We're just trying to get it in a rough area right now and we will adjust later and out to the point. All right, I've been having this weird problem with Fusion lately where it puts my check mark finishes way the heck outside. Hit the escape key to get out of the fit point spline. We're just gonna try to line this up and we wanna line it up as close as we can to the center of the image of the hook here. Again, exact precision is not what we're looking for here. We're not gonna 3D print this or anything. Well, we might, but like you don't need it to be like super precise, right? We're not launching rockets or anything like that. And then for the hook eye, I get the circle tool, put it roughly in the center of the circle. It wasn't even close. The escape key, and we'll just move this into roughly where I want it, and then make sure that this connects to that roughly where I need to. All right, so we finished sketch, and now we have basically our hook in a sketch. I'm just gonna use the pipe tool here, click that line, 
And for diameter, you know, you can measure it. I would say most of the time, two millimeters is probably correct. But again, that's why we have the caliper. If you have one of the hooks, you can measure them. But again, since we scaled this diagram, the actual um, width of the hook in this picture is pretty darn close to what it is in real life. So you can just eyeball it here if we do it two millimeters. Okay, so this is something you can run into a lot. The body intersects itself, try to reduce blah, 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 blah. What I usually do at this point is I just bail out of the pipe tool in um, the design uh, solid workspace and I go into create form and I'll create a pipe in here. It's uh, much more forgiving. And I'll do the same thing, two millimeters here and make sure we have the square in types and we'll do circular display. So we can kind of zoom in here and see, you know, it's probably closer to 1.8. Yeah, I'm gonna size it a little bit bigger. Click on okay. Um, let me turn that sketch back on and we're gonna do another pipe here for this part. That would be 1.8 square, and that's cool. Click on OK, finish form, and boom. There we go. So we can turn this sketch off. Just click on the little eyeball, and we got our hook. So again, we have a fairly accurate representation of our hook. And you know, you could put it into a mold design if you want to, make a jig head if you just want to like overlay it over a bait and see where it fits. Make sure your hook's not too far forward, too far back, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You're good to go. Hope that helps guys. Take care. Tight lines.